What's going on, gentlemen? It's Jesse here. And this topic, it might be a little shocking for some of you. So if you're a sensitive guy or you're one of these white knights, maybe you need to run off to your safe space, run away. Because today in this video, we are talking about the four evil, toxic, psychological hacks of epic power that come together into one single diabolical system to get inside a woman's mind and get her thinking about you, to get her crying for your attention, to get her going crazy and mental for you to message her back, even if she's a hot girl, even if there's this large age gap of 20 or 30 years between you and her, even if you're just an average looking guy. Now, in an ideal world, do you really wanna use toxic psychological hacks just to get inside of her mind? No, absolutely not. But gentlemen, these modern women leave us absolutely no choice because they're playing so many dirty mind games on us men, it just makes your head spin. So you can't play clean anymore. So I want you to pay attention, buckle up your seatbelt, and let's get right into it. All right, gentlemen, the first psychological hack to get inside a woman's mind is you need to leave her a bit confused. You need to leave her on this unsure footing. And this is where nice guys, they get it all wrong, right? The nice guy, he's giving her this constant reassurance that he's gonna be there for her. There's no confusion. She knows exactly where she stands with him. And he's telling her things like, baby, I love you. Baby, I miss you. Baby, I'm always gonna be there for you. Don't worry, baby. There's no other women around. It's just you and me. I only have eyes for you. So she knows exactly where she stands with him. And this attention is 24 seven. It's constantly ongoing every single day. And because he is over pursuing her, it feels icky and she wants to pull away from it because it's coming across as needy and as low value. So what you wanna be doing instead is leave her on an unsure footing where she doesn't know where she stands with you. So you can absolutely be telling her these sweet little nothings into her ear, giving her this little bit of romantic talk like, baby, I've been missing you so bad. All I can do is think about you. You're the only girl for me, but you have to alternate that with pulling away. Like maybe you don't talk to her for a couple of days. Maybe you just kind of disappear. You vanish for a week, maybe two weeks to get this girl thinking, wait, I know this guy likes me, but how much does he like me? Is he really thinking about me or is he not thinking about me? You wanna create that conflict inside of her because that conflict is what creates the drama and girls love that drama. The drama, the challenge of holding on to you and keeping you and keeping your attention, the drama of that is the, what creates the attraction. That's what gets inside of her head. It's that challenge where she keeps having to chase you and she could possibly lose you. Where she knows, yeah, he's thinking about me, but how much is he thinking about me? Like she kind of almost has you, but she doesn't. It's that conflict that drives those girls crazy. And yes, it's toxic, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm fully admitting this is completely toxic, but it works. What can I say? So yeah, you got to start off giving her those butterflies, give her the charged excitement, make her feel the sexual tension, build it up, give her some sexual value, sexually frame her, build some sexual comfort, but then you got to take it away. She's got to feel the absence, right? It's going to make it feel more intense. All those great feelings when you disappear, when you vanish, when you pull away, it makes all the good times you had together feel that much more intense. All the good times you had together are going to feel that much more sweet. And it's going to create this conflict. It's going to create this drama. It's like a roller coaster of emotions of very high highs and low lows, right? And if you don't give her the lows, the highs don't feel as high. I mean, if everything is high, but it's flat, it's just gonna feel flat to her. So she's gotta feel the highs contrasted with the lows of the roller coaster where she's thinking, 
Man, I like this guy so much, but where is he? Where'd he go? He just disappeared. That's gonna drive her crazy. It's gonna fuel that internal conflict. And a lot of these girls just feed off of the conflict. That's what drives her crazy. That's what gets her thinking about you every day at night. That's what makes her obsessed with you. And again, yes, it's a little bit toxic, but a lot of these girls just thrive off that toxicity. Now, the problem that you might have, yes, you watching this video right now, is that if you do not have a lot of options, pretty girls, pretty girls that you can choose from, you know, you might agree with everything I'm saying. It might sound great in theory, but that first cute girl that pays attention with you, everything I'm saying flies right out the window. If you do not have a lot of options with cute girls to choose from, if you are not in abundance and some cute girl starts paying attention to you, you're suddenly gonna get needy. You're gonna suddenly be grasping for that girl. So even though you know in your head you've gotta pull back and alternate the attention with the withdrawal of the attention, you're still always going to be there for her. You're going to constantly reassure her that she's the only girl. You're going to be flatlining the emotion with just pure positivity, and that creates no drama for the girl. That's not interesting to the girl because she knows she's already won you over. There was no challenge in it for her and she's going to be pulling away from you and you will lose that girl. I guarantee it if you do not have options in your life. So if you're the type of guy that's getting ignored by the girls you really want, if girls you really want are treating you like you're invisible, maybe I can help you out here. Simply go right here to attractionzilla.com fill out a quick application there. We can hop on a phone call together and I'll give you a detailed breakdown and analysis of your own unique situation so we can help you go on more fun dates and finally get yourself that loving and loyal girlfriend you really deserve. All right, gentlemen, evil psychological hack number two to get inside a woman's mind, get her thinking all about you all the time. What I want you to do is flip the script on the girl and have the girl telling you how much she likes you, how much she's in love with you. I want you getting that girl to tell you how much she's really into you. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. What they do is that they'll go inside a man's mind and plant a little idea there. And they plant that idea into his dreams so that he thinks it was his idea. And you're essentially kind of doing the same thing with the girl. And that's why I call this technique Inception. So for example, when I'm talking to a woman, I might tell her, you know what, I can tell that you just love guys with blue eyes. You just love blue eyes on a man, don't you? Come on, you can tell me, say it, say it. Even though I'm prompting her to say that, and she's gonna say, yeah, I like guys with blue eyes. As soon as she says it, to a certain degree, it was her idea. The words came out of her mouth. And because of commitment and consistency, because she said it, it forms, it crystallizes the idea in her own mind. Or I might say to the girl, okay, so why do you like me so much? Why are you so in love with me? Now, as soon as she says anything about why she likes me, it makes it real in her own mind. As soon as she says something, it makes it real to the girl. Yes, I am prompting her, but I'm still flipping the script because as soon as those words come out of her mouth, it becomes real to her. Some other examples of inception that I've used on girls are just making her agree that I'm her type of guy. You know, you're so in love with tall guys like me, aren't you? Come on, just tell me, you can say it. Or I feel that attraction we have for each other, or I feel that attraction that you have for me. I know it's there, I know it's there. Or I might take her hands, put them on my chest, so it looks like she's physically making the move on me. Or I might tell her, tell me how you love me, girl. Just say it, just say it. Tell me how you love me, girl. And as soon as she says anything that's positive, it's like she said it. Or you could even say, hey, tell me how you want my babies, girl. Come on, tell me how you want my babies. And you say it with a smile on your face, say it real cocky like her. You might tell her, all right, tell me how much you love talking to me. Tell me how much you love talking to me, girl. 
Try to make her compliment you, even though it's prompted, even though you're prompting her to say it, as soon as she gives you those compliments, as soon as she admits how you're her type, man, it's like flipping the script. It's like inception. You're implanting the idea into her mind and getting her to speak it aloud. Now, the effectiveness of this technique is all going to come down to the delivery, gentlemen. If you're a nice guy, and you're nervous talking to that girl, if you feel awkward or you feel uneasy and you're asking her a bunch of nice guy, boring, lame questions like, oh, where are you from? How are you doing? Right, and you're giving her a couple compliments here and there and your demeanor is very meek and timid and then you suddenly bust out, hey, tell me how you love me, girl, say it. It's gonna be incongruent with who you were being before. So this requires that you're cocky, that you're playful, that you got a smile on your face, that you've been teasing the girl, that you've been using some bad boy moves. So it is a rather advanced technique for more advanced guys. But if you can pull it off, man, it's amazing because you're flipping the positions. Instead of you chasing the girl, you're getting her to chase after you. And that's what puts you inside of her mind and gets her thinking about you late at night when her head hits that pillow. All right, gentlemen, evil psychological hack number three for getting inside that woman's mind and having her think about you night and day. Guys, listen up, this is absolutely key. We are talking about having dominance in the bedroom. Dominance in the bedroom, guys. We're talking about pulling on her hair, pinning her hand up against the wall, picking that girl up and just tossing her onto the bed, showing her who daddy is, right? Dressing her up in cute little outfits, play choking her, putting the handcuffs on her, looking deep into her eyes. All this allows the girl to be submissive where you are that dominant caveman. You are that werewolf that just wants to rip her apart. You're like that vampire with a bloodlust, but instead of the bloodlust, you have a sex lust where you become this dominant guy that she can actually submit to in the bed. Because guys, if you're giving her vanilla sex in the bedroom, if it's always that missionary position and that sweet love making, what you gotta understand is it's a very competitive environment out there nowadays. All the girl has to do, even if she's average looking, is pull out her phone she can find men that are richer than you. She can find men that are better looking than you. She can find built athletic guys that can last a long time in the bedroom, who can be dominant, that are gonna lay that pipe down on her, that are gonna dig her guts out and show her a fun time. Even if they don't wanna commit to her, they can give her exciting sex. So if you're just gonna give her that vanilla sex in the bedroom, the girl is gonna start to test you. She's gonna start to test your boundaries. She's gonna be shit testing you a lot more. She's gonna start to act grumpy. She's gonna start to get that wandering eye. She's gonna start to act more masculine because you're not taking on the masculine role. So if you really wanna get inside a woman's head and have her thinking about you day and night, you gotta kick that love making right out the door. Kick out the slow motion, kick out the sweet kissing, kick out the sweet little nothings in her ear, kick out the chill and the calm and turn that into the beast. The beast who's going to manhandle her. The beast that's gonna throw her around the bedroom a little bit. The beast that's using toys on her. The beast that's loud, dominant, and dirty talking her. And you do that and I guarantee she's not gonna be looking on her phone for extra side action. She's not gonna be looking on her phone at that fit guy because you're already providing her what she needs. And that's what women crave. That's what they really want. They want to be dominated in the bedroom and they want to feel like that submissive feminine woman. And this is another area that I specialize my coaching in. Not only how to meet a bevy of beautiful girls and take them out on fun dates and pick the girls that you really like to be your girlfriends, but actually how to keep the girls in the first place. Because if she's a beautiful girl, she has a lot of options out there. And the mistake I see again and again that a lot of guys make is they're kind of needy for the girl. They just focus on how to get her, but they don't know how to keep her. So if this is something that you need help in as well, simply go to attractionzilla.com. I'll show you how to meet a lot of girls, 
go on dates with them, pick your favorite girls, and then how to keep her so that she's loyal, she's loving, and she's obsessed with you. All right, gentlemen, toxic hack number four to get inside a woman's mind and have her thinking about you all the time is you must begin to limit your availability. You can't be there at her beck and call all the time. If she calls you up, are you always picking up the phone right away? Every time she messages you, do you message her right back? Are you always asking to hang out with her? Or every time she wants to come over, you're like, yes, yes, yes. Guys, women value what is scarce. They value what has limited availability. That's why gold is more valuable than say aluminum. You got aluminum at home. You got plastic at home. It's all over the place. Gold though is very scarce. It has limited availability. So we perceive gold as being more valuable. And that's why you need to begin to limit your availability. If she calls you up on the phone, you're not always there to pick up the call. If she wants to hang out, you're not always available. For example, you can kind of disappear for a couple of days. You can kind of draw back even for a week where you get her worrying, hey, is he still into me? Does he really like me? Is he seeing another girl? Did he find another girl? I know that's kind of toxic and getting the girl to worry about you, but then you're on her mind. And when she's worrying about you, she's not thinking about some other dude. You see, women want to miss you. They want to chase you. They don't want a flat line of positive emotions. They want to go on a roller coaster ride. Besides, the positive things you do for them, the positive time you spend with them, the positive feelings that you give them are going to feel so much more intense when it's contrasted against an absence of those things, right? If it's all positive emotions, it's still flatline. The girl gets used to it. She gets bored of it. So you have to have those contrasting emotions, super positivity, fun, exciting, great times in the bedroom where you pull it away and you become less available. That's what makes her miss you. And when she misses you, she's chasing you. And when she's chasing you, that's what gets her thinking about you and gets a, her addicted to you. Now, since you enjoyed this video so much, watch this one next. How to be that toxic bad boy that women just love to hate. Again, because women don't want flat line emotions. They're not interested in the boring vanilla nice guy. If you wanna show a girl how to be this exciting man that's gonna take her on a roller coaster ride in the bedroom, watch this video next.